What is up? Fish Destroyer back here with another video of my tanks. Um, I'm sorry I've been inactive lately. Um, just been really busy with work and school. And I have a problem. So, I had only that one angelfish right there. And then I got those two. And I got them when they were probably about eh, way big, which is probably just an inch. And as you guys know, I had a crawfish in this tank and a big pleco. So I get these, I bought these fish at the store. I'm not gonna name the store, but I get these fish, put them in my tank. Literally three days later, I notice these little white spots and I've, it's not ick, I know it's not ick. So I do some research, it's freaking skin and fin rot. So I'm like, oh God, no. So they had skin and fin rot. Several of chasing each other. They had skin and fin rot really bad. And they're just not recovering for it from it. You can see on one of these leaf fish's tails, if I can get close enough. He had it bad, the Severum's like, feed me. But, on his head, he had it really bad. You're not gonna be able to see it. You can kind of see his tail, it's all beaten up. And his fins are all beaten up. And his fins are fine, thank God. Um, he's, but his fins are beaten up. But it was a uh, skin fin rod. I lost my blind Orlando goldfish that was black and my other Orlando goldfish that I had that was just typical goldfish, white and gold. And they both died. And then I lost my pleco that I had since I had my exotics, like my knife fish and whatnot. And that really brought me down. So then I treated everything, everything was good. And I got a 10 gallon saltwater tank with two Oscillaris clownfish in there. And then I got a Page, I don't know, some Cardinal, it's like Pajama Cardinal. I'll show you them in a minute. And then I got a Blue Damsel with some live rock in there. Then I got the cowfish, a longhorn cowfish. I'll put a picture in the video. But. I was like, hey, I'm gonna upgrade from a 10 to a 29. Cause I thought this tank was so cool. The saltwater tank, I was like, I gotta be a bigger one. And um, so I go to this place, this store that I got my two angel fish from and my tank got sick, not thinking. And I get some live rock and I wasn't gonna get fish, but I saw a cleaner shrimp and a coral beauty. I'll drop, put a picture of that fish in there as well. And these things were so nice. So I had to get them. I put them in a tank. Literally get everything switched over. Get everything. I get my 29 set up. Get everything. Like all the beneficial bacteria. All the live rock and everything. So it's like perfect. Get the temperatures equal. And part of this is my fault. I mean. In my 10 gallon I never checked the salinity levels with the hydrometer. Which is really bad. And I didn't. I decided to do it in there, but it was high, so I checked my uh, 10 gallon, and it was the same level, so I was like, oh, they'll be fine. So then, I come home, and then, my cowfish, well, I was home watching a movie, and then, I get up, turn my light on, and my cowfish is laying on the ground. I'm like, oh, God, he's dead. Literally, the next day, my poor beauty my damsel and what else my one I had two Oscillaris clownfish my one died and also the shrimp died so now I only have 39 gallon tank with a half alive Os Oscillaris clownfish and a Pashima cardinal and here it is 30 gallon with some live rock there's a Pajama Cardinal. 
Nice layer of clownfish is back there. Probably all sad that his buddy died. But no, no. And that little starfish. Here, I'll go back. You can't really see him, can you? No. Nope. You can see him better right there. Well, starfish, he's right. You can't see my hand either, but he's right there. I'm sure you guys can see him. And. So I was like, check my salinity levels, and they were still high. So I took out 10% of the water. After all these fish died, I took out 10% of the water and put fresh water back in. And now the levels are perfect where they should be. But the ammonia is good. I haven't tested nitrates or anything. I'm going to do that tomorrow. But... I'm hoping these two make it. Um, I'm gonna get everything fixed and try to rebuild, but it just hurt because I knew I killed them. It was my fault. And people are gonna be, oh, wow, you're soft, you're this, you're that. But no, I mean, when you're into the hobby, fish is like a pet. I mean, it's like a dog. I mean, these fish, like, the, especially the cowfish, that thing was so cool. And his name was Parmesan, yeah, whatever. But, um, when he died, that hurt. And it was like $135, and the money wasn't a big deal. But losing them, that just sucked. Big time. But, I'll keep you guys updated with this problem. Let's feed these dudes. Oops. Little flakes. Destroying it. There's a leaf fish. A little hesitant. He sees the camera. He's scared. I mean, these angelfish are savages. Same with the severums. I mean, they're savages. The other one doesn't notice it yet. Food. Oh, spotted. Where's the bite shirt? Oh, there he is. There's my bite shirt. Until next time, fish destroyer out.